Hi everyone, this is Tushar Amman, back at you from 99 Workouts. Uh, we have featured around 20 guests till now and um, I'm getting on to the later stage of my 99 Workouts. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I have to really thank each and every one of you. Um, thanks and thanks again and again because uh, your comments and all your inputs do matter a lot. We feature on 99 Workouts very interesting people. Again, let me tell you, these videos are totally uncut raw versions. There's no editing done and everything is directly from the horse's mouth. Whichever guests who feature on my 99 workouts episodes are real people whom you can see them at the gym or on the ground working out. And they are all, believe me, entire day they spend their time in the different varied professions and somehow they squeeze in a little bit of exercise. So what do we have today? Well, every person featuring has something very interesting. I have to showcase someone whom I have known for nearly two decades. And believe me, this is going to be a real interesting story. So just follow me. I'm going to introduce you to someone very special. Hi, well, that's my friend Ali and I've known him nearly for two decades, nearly. Yeah. So Ali is a very interesting case, let me tell you. Um, I've been moving to a couple of brands all related to sports and fitness and Ali has been there somewhere and he says that he's been a donor member. But trust me, I've seen this person transforming from what he was 20 years back and what he is now and it is all in good faith and he looks stunning um, Ali, so tell me something uh, how did this all happen? and you come from a food industry which is um, I don't know, I mean let's, let's why don't you tell us something I am, about my, I am like a crazy foodie and I only eat what my mind says if I want to eat something which is probably 40 kilometers away I will go drive 40 kilometers, eat that particular dish and come back to so that's my and being in the food line I, I Food all the time and keep learning new dishes and I keep working on it. And doing that, uh, as you saw four years back, I had the uh, tip the skin 108 kilos, but I was huge. And I used to keep joining the gym every year because uh, you know how gyms are. The moment your membership gets over, they give you a pulse for renewal. And I used to run back, pay the entire money, go for about 10, 12 days, 15 days max for the entire year, and get back to my eating and living my life. You know, like just enjoying my life but I guess one fine day some one of my friends I remember his name was Sefi and I had a small accident and he came to the hospital to see me and he says you just bloated everywhere what's wrong with you and that people have been telling me I'm fat but that one line this guy told me he said, me somewhere so what do I do and then I started doing a lot of uh, I went to all the possible dietitians that India can offer the most expensive ones, the simplest ones, the most famous ones and I was yo-yoing yo -yo almost for two, two and a half years and getting fatter in fact I was trying to do a diet for six months uh, and then give it to the next 12 months and go back and then somewhere I came across online I came across this person called the Minnesota OC and current time I had given up about 108 kilos and I said this is the last person I will Actually, mentally, I was okay, let's just grab this guy. Whatever he says, I'll give it back. And then I found him, I, I sent him a message on the And it turned out that he was in Pune. I was actually willing to go anywhere in India to meet this person and see what happened. So I was seeing what he was doing online. And he said, hey, buddy, just come, I'm at so and so place, and I'm And then I went to meet him. But I had no clue what's expected and all. And then that, when he saw me, he said, why? First question he asked me, why are you sad? I said, no, I'm just fine. <laughs> and I've been wanting to be friend all my life, but I've just got fatter and fatter from the He just only wants to listen to me, do what I say. In three to four months, you'll be half your size. You'll be, and my goal, frankly, was about 85 kilos. That's all I wanted to be. From 185, I was like a fast, unachievable un un life. And then, for the first time in my life, I listened to somebody and without using my brain, without judging, I just followed that person to the team and I think in four and a half months, I reached 64 kilos. Pathetically thin, but I could, I had changed my wardrobe, I think 
from the double X, triple XL to double XL to XL to large to medium in four and a half months. I don't know how much money I spent on the wardrobe, but I can do extra small. And that's where I realized the 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 happiness I got from being fit. And then from that onward, I was gymming every day. And as you said, I saw all 20 years back when right. I met you at your right. gym first. Right. And I remember you telling me, "Well, this come for sale. Why don't you why don't you pursue this properly?" And this is when it hit me. And from that day to now, last four years, I guess I'm going to gym also. Wherever I travel in the world, or wherever I'm in Pune, or in anywhere, I will first find a gym and then go there. Yes, last six months I've been off diet, which I plan to get back on. But that person completely changed my perception of fitness. And you also were one of the first guys who I should call. You were like crazy fit. I remember in our college times and all. And I used to follow that. How did this guy manage? And I, you were. Whenever you called me, I I followed you in a few gyms. I suddenly. And I used to always ask you for advice, and you were always there. And then I used to manage. But anyway, so that's the journey. And. Um, Started working out, started following uh, uh, nutrition in the right manner, scientific manner, and things changed. So, आपने सुना ऐसे इंसान जो जिनको मैं 20 साल से जानता हूँ पहले एक डोनर मेंबर की तरह थे वो खुद ही ये वर्ड यूज़ करते डोनर मेंबर जो डोनर मेंबर वो होता है जो आके जिम का पैसा पे करता है जिसके कारण जिम का लाइफ चलता है और लोगों के सैलरीज दिए जाते हैं लेकिन वो इंसान वर्कआउट करने नहीं आता लेकिन इनमें चार साल पहले कुछ ऐसा कुछ उनके अंदर मोटिवेशन जागा जिसके कारण आज वो नियरली फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी किलो लॉस फोर्टी फोर किलो सो चौवालीस किलो इन्होंने कम किया है एक इंसान ही बाहर आ गया इनके अंदर से सो आप अरे कभी समथिंग हेल्थ वाइज I was borderline diabetes, borderline blood pressure, borderline a lot of things, and that's when a lot of uh, things were rising up. And now I, I had a very big situation called hives. I don't know that was very correlation, but I was on uh, Allegra uh, medicine for twice a day for almost last seven years. Okay. I used to get hives for some kind of food. After being on that last four years, I don't remember even one day that I've taken that uh, tablet, and uh, all the parameters have been. Fantastic. No diabetes, no blood pressure, no. Thank God. I mean, because of fitness, right. or because of getting healthier, and come back to a situation where all my medical parameters look perfect. Now I do the best. Ali, uh, actually, restaurant business belong करते हैं, food industry से, food industry से involve करते हैं. जो इनका काफ़ी पुराना ब्रांड है डेक्ची जो बहुत ही पॉपुलर है बिरयानी वगैरह के लिए मैं मैं कॉलेज के टाइम से मैं सुनता आ रहा हूँ अली जैसे ये पूछते हैं कि जनरली ये जो बिरयानी वगैरह होता है इतना डिलीशियस कार्बोहाइड्रेट वगैरह होता है लेकिन आपने अपने डाइट में जरूर ये ये तो इंक्लूड किया नहीं होगा नहीं किया अच्छा डेफिनेटली किया था सो माई डाइट ऑलवेज आई लव फूड सो वेन आई स्पोक टू मुझे सी एम हाउ डू इट ऑल अबाउट मैचिंग योर मैक्रोज You don't make your diet boring. You need to what you're eating every day, but start measuring everything and putting it in what your body requires to whatever transformation you want. So I definitely was making a biryani at that time also, measuring the rice, measuring the meat, measuring of course the oil levels and all the perfectly measured. But yes, I did stop measuring. One question that I have to ask, which is very difficult for many people, is food addiction. Addiction for food. In terms of you know tasty food and they eat a lot of oily, greasy food. And if you want to get into fitness levels, you want to increase your, you want to decrease your body weight, you have to change your nutrition diet in a big way. Maybe you have to give away a lot of foods which you don't, you know, you really love eating, but you have to sacrifice them for some time. So uh, tell me, um, Ali, how how much changes have you done in this? A lot of changes. A lot of changes. I mean, nutrition wise, diet wise. Everything changed. What my lifestyle was earlier, only on desserts all day, eating fried stuff all day. I, I didn't know, I didn't understand science that time. But now, yes, it has changed. Everything is measured. In the last six months, again, I've been waiting eight to be the wrong time, I believe. But uh, <laughs> I've been consciously on diet last six months. But now I get back to measuring everything I eat. And now, after so long, I guess when I start making, I don't need to really measure it. Get an idea of what's going on. Desserts, sugars, all have to stop. Now. And we got a wrong notion about low carbs, right. but carbs were always there. Right. एक सवाल है अली जिसे जो पूछना है क्योंकि ये एक transformation case है, major transformation case 
जो मैं पोस्ट करूँगा इनके प्री एंड पोस्ट पिक्चर्स आपको समझ में आएगा कि एक इंसान कैसे अपने आप को ट्रांसफॉर्म किया है और मोटिवेशन ये ये जो चीज़ है मोटिवेशन वर्ड बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल लैक मोटिवेशन द होल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ नाइन्टी नाइन बट काउस इज हाउ पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट इंडस्ट्री लाइक यू नो यूर बिजी थ्रू आउट द डे केटरिंग और यू नो यूर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ रेस्टोरेंट एंड हाउ डू हाउ डू टेक आउट टाइम लाइक हाउ डू मैनेज हाउ वट इज़ यूर वर्कआउट शेड लाइक सिक्स डेज ऑफ वी टू डेज सेवन डेज वी नो बॉक्स बैड इन सब आइस क्रीम पीपल टेल यूर बट आई वर्क एवरी डे स्टिल I still work till 12:30 in the night every day because being in the restaurant industry, the hotel yes. industry, and I'm generally back. I'm always in the gym at six o'clock. What whether I sleep at two, whether I sleep at because it's just a decision made in my mind. If I don't go to the gym at six in the morning, right. my entire day is going to be six to seven thirty. I am in the gym. Okay. Then my work starts, okay. and I am I work very long hours. Right. So motivation is what you need to really care. Why do you want to do it? I right. said my health became better. I started to do better. I I knew I could achieve this. So once I did that, so earlier three four months the transformation I I got, I didn't want to lose it. Right. That kept me motivated. I could not see myself back as huge that I was. Right. So if I give it up, I would have reached back. Right. I just it's there. Right. Um, I think we are at this very beautiful place, uh, Cafe Peter. Okay. How did this came up? Like you know, this was like an impulsive decision. I mean, okay. at their restaurants last 8 uh, 10 years okay. and one of my friends just told me uh, Peter is looking for an, a, a place in your area and i'm like okay but when i then as i was as i was there, I, driving i remember my friend owned this beautiful place and i gave him a call hey, is that place still there he says yeah why i mean i'm just giving on rent but what do you want you want it i'll give it to you i said i want to start a restaurant he said i'll go to you you take it okay i'll cancel the other person The relation with the guy was so strong. Yeah. So on a phone call, he never heard of Kevin Peter. Right. The other person. He just said, "We'll do it." And it was the same class of decision. Okay. Just started off. Well, um, Ali is there most of the time. I think you're there most of the time here at Kevin Peter. Yes. Mornings I'm at uh, my catering. Right. Uh, afternoons I'm here. Back to catering. Then evenings I'm back. Oh, after, right. after I finish my uh, wedding season, so generally uh, we have it's all set. But 10:30, 11, I come back to Kevin Peter. I'm looking at the closing and all that. Um, so guys, that was something really interesting and motivational for sure. अगर इस इंसान इस अली को अगर पर्सनली आपको मिलना है तो जरूर कैफे पीटर आइए दिस इज ऑन एन आई बी एम साइड ऑफ टाउन प्लीज डू कम एंड मीट हेम एंड दस मे दिस इज अ रियल लाइफ मोटिवेशनल केस विच यू हैव टू मीट दिस पर्सन एंड अंडरस्टैंड दैट एवरी थिंग इज पॉसिबल ट्रांसफॉर्म यूर सर राइट यस My age is 42. When I started, I was 46. But when I started my transition, I was 42. People say that after 40, who cares? You can't lose your metabolism. Then I think it's all wrong. Whenever you decide, is the right time to start. Just start. Such beautiful words. 40 or 50 doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's just that you need to decide that you want to change yourself. And trust me, it's, it's a long way to go. And I'm sure Ali is going to be fitter and much better oh, yes, in yes. the coming years. I, I'm going to say it online. Yeah. Uh, on 2020 uh, march i'm going to be ripped again wow. so uh, that's going to be like i'm i'm liable for that now thank you very much ali like you know it was so wonderful catching up after so wonderful catching up with you yes 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 years you've yes. been an idol forever <laughs> 99 what was all about you know meeting people and connecting with them and of course spread the message of you know the fitness and health in pune which is one of the fittest city in india So wish all the best keep watching 99 workouts because our next guest is equally special